Welcome back to American Arcadia. Uh, at the end of my last session, I had just jumped out a window, uh, kind of like Neo in the Matrix. I was being guided by a hacker, and I had just discovered that in this game, you're running around doing puzzle platforming with one character while hacking the level with another character. But that was revealed at the very end. The tutorial of this game is fairly long, so I wanted to do another episode, another session, to sort of learn what the game is like once that sort of partnership between the runner and the hacker kicks in. Um, so the story of the game, by the way, is I'm a character who just found out he's basically in the Truman Show, except it's not all about him. The Truman Show was about Jim, Carrey, uh, Jim Carrey's character. This is a show that's about everyone else except for this guy, and he's about to be killed because he's not an interesting character. So he's trying to escape. And I think in the process, I'm betting he becomes the most interesting character on the show. But one thing that is kind of surprising me is uh, how infrequently the game saves because I was out on a window ledge when I left the game before. I, you don't have manual saves in this game. Mannequins? They put mannequins in here too, just to fill up seats? Yep. Now you're getting it. Okay. Wait a minute. Oh, never mind. Damn it. Trevor, hide quick. I'm a little closer than I thought. Not yet, but we've got all the exits covered. Good. He's not going to get out of this building. Unless he grows a pair of wings. Okay, so I thought that I was actually before... I thought that the game had saved before the backstage stuff where I was like moving a spotlight around and manipulating wardrobe boxes to climb up over uh, scaffolding and stuff like that behind a stage. Actually, I'm past that part. So I was like, I was like, oh man, I'm going to have to do that again. No, I don't. Uh, I'm right before I jump out the window. So that was actually okay. This, this was an okay place to find out there was a checkpoint. Shit. Plan B, Trevor. Forget about the elevator. You have to find another way out. Me? I'm an account manager. The only things I can find are mistakes and balance sheets. <sighs> Let me think. Um, there's a uh, there's a window in front of you, right? You're not thinking of. We need to get you to the closest monorail station as soon as possible. There's no other option. There's another station literally in front of the Inoc building. Didn't you hear them, Trevor? What part of all exits are covered? Didn't you get? Well, this is a seriously bad idea. So is the monorail elevated? to a level where I can actually get to it from the side of the building? Is that what we're trying to do? Oh god, this is really high. Would you please calm down, Trevor? I shouldn't have gotten out of bed today. In which case you'd already be dead by now. Just don't panic and let me think of something. Okay. Uh, uh, uh. Trevor? Trevor, you're doing all right. Okay, just keep going. Wait, this looks like the wrong direction. So, okay, so I've got this camera here and another camera here, but I don't know where here is. But... Oh, okay. I thought I was going to have to See, it wasn't that bad. Okay, I thought this was th this thing was already on my level, but it wasn't. It was above me. I just realized that I don't even know your name or why you're doing this. I'd rather not give you more details right now for safety reasons. But you can call me Kovacs. Kovacs? Like like my turtle? What? No, man, Kovacs, the Hungarian scientist and architect of tomorrow. Science always finds a way and all that, you know? Oh, yeah, yeah, our Pat Kovacs. I was a huge fan, too. I named my turtle after him. Dude, why do you keep bringing your turtle into this conversation? Well, I just thought, yeah, forget it. So I'm pretty sure that's pronounced Kovac uh, or Kovats or something like that. It's I don't think it's I don't think you just say it like it's a CS. Trevor, watch out. Don't let the bargain basement Beastie Boys see you. The what? Uh, travel agents. Don't let the travel agents see you. Hexagon, please revert shutter at my location. Thank you. All right. Shutter blocked on INAC Gemini A6 R3. Please revert state. Okay, so am I going to go even higher now? Yep. Hey Trevor, I must say you are coping 
quite well with all this physical stress, despite your age. What do you mean my age? I'm 28. You're... Oh, oh, you're... Uh, sorry about that, I... Uh, uh... <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about it. It's the mustache. <laughs> the dialogue in this game is great. Nah, there's no way he climbed out the window. What do they expect? A stapler guy from office space climbing out of a window? Come on. Okay, so... Since I can move left? No, I can't. Because there's a guy watching this window above me and the window to the right. Oh, but maybe I can buzz the intercom. This guy goes away, and then I can move right. And then I can move up. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Down. I guess I'll move right, and... No, I just gotta time this right. Ah, dang it. Okay, up. Yes. Then up again. Okay, was that... Was that right? Did I do it? Oh, no. Move right. There we go. All right. Okay. I can move my character. That was weird. Okay. Not weird bad. Weird good. Weird, weird, interesting. Tense. Like, I was really tense that whole time. Now what? N now what what? Just jump over the gap and move forward. <laughs> are, are you sure? If I miss, I die. Oh, come on, Trevor. Even my grandpa could jump that. Mr. Hills, what are you doing? You're going to hurt yourself, Mr. Hills. Oh, shit! The travel agents are here! Uh, jump! Now! I love that he's scared of that gap, because I absolutely Please, would be running. too. Video game characters treat that stuff like it's nothing, stop but... immediately. Run! Keep running, for God's sake! Who's that park for? Yes, trust me. He's going over the crane. Damn it. Uh, oh, crap. Okay. To cut him off. I needed to switch. Crane, Trevor, quick. I need to the switch crane. into hacker mode faster. Yes, trust me. Okay, so what can I do? He's going over the crane. Damn it. I'll try to cut him off. No, 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 Subject is cornered. Send drone to area 84 F. Okay. Oh. Okay. Get over that crane, Trevor, quick. The crane? Oh, wait, hold on. Let's just get caught. I needed to already have my stick tilted at the beginning. Crane, Trevor, quick. The crane? Yes, trust me. Oh, okay. Oh, no, 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 no. I just retracted it. Subject is cornered. Send drone to area 84 oh. What? Do I need to do this? Crane, Trevor, quick. Okay, the do I need this whole thing faster? Yes, trust me. Uh, oh no, 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 no. Okay, it was possible. Wait, you jumped into a swimming pool from the 20th floor of a building? Yes, and while I think it's pretty obvious, I'm not exactly a daredevil. Although in hindsight, that jump was nothing compared to what I had to do afterwards. Better already? Dry enough? No, I'm still soaking wet. Sorry about that, but we don't have much time. Get moving before the travel agents get down here. What kind of travel agents are they if they jump into the pool? I mean, I would not jump into that pool, but whatever. Wow, is that a helicopter after me? That's gonna be expensive. But yeah, that was really, 
that was like I'm still a little bit tense. Like I'm trying, like this game looks like cute and cartoony, but I had to do a lot of like that. Like it was weird. I'm used to puzzle platformers sometimes needing me to execute platforming moves quickly, but executing Keep platforming going, moves. You're doing great. Now listen. <laughs> To get to the station, I need you to... Cross the monorail tracks, right? You were gonna say that much. I'm afraid so. Oh, uh, damn it. Okay. Well, I'll wait for another one to go by. Anyway, um... But needing to execute those platforming moves while executing the hacking moves at the same time? That was nuts. Um... Okay. So I'm just assuming if they haven't come by yet, they're not gonna... Okay. Cool. I could have sworn <laughs> that the problem was going to be timing the monorail, but I guess not. They did come right after I jumped. Watch out. Damn it! Hills got out of the Einak East Tower? How is that possible? He jumped to the pool, man. To the damn pool. Who could expect that? What a screw up. My signal, I want you to haul ass like there's no tomorrow. What's going on? Somebody stop that car alarm. It's Trevor Hills. Get him! Come here, you. Okay. I wasn't given the Trevor, option to run. Watch out. Damn it! Or was I? Hills Did I just forget something? East Tower? How is that possible? He jumped to the signal, pool, I want you to haul ass to the like damn no pool. What's going on? Do Somebody I have the ability to run? There he is! Catch him! Come here, you. Okay, so my character's in sneak mode. Automatically. Trevor, watch out. Damn it! Hills got out of the Einak East Tower? How is that possible? He jumped to the pool, man. To the damn pool. Who if could I expect signal, that? I want you to haul ass what like there's no tomorrow. So she says to haul ass, which means run. But I try to move, and it just lets me move at the, sn the snail's pace. And I'm not sure what other options I have. I don't think I've got the ability to just decide whether I'm sneaking or running. What's going on? Somebody stop that car it's alarm. It's Trevor Hills. Get him! Come here, you. Okay, wait, she says... Okay, Orthaus is... Watch out. Damn it! Hills got out of the Einak East Tower. How Everyone's talking, possible? sorry. <laughs> he jumped to the pool, man. To the damn pool. Who could expect that? What a screw-up. Okay, so Orthos is suggesting that she's actually going to give him a signal. That she's going to say something. That the, the, the car's beeping isn't enough. So if let's I signal, see if that's I want true. You to haul ass like there's no tomorrow. What's going on? Somebody stop that car alarm. Now, Trevor, run! There oh! He is. Catch him! Come here, you! So they stopped moving because... Because I had snuck out early. Get to the last car of the monorail! Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Yeah! In your face! <laughs> what are you gonna do now, huh? Yeah! Look at the face of that... Bestie kid, or whatever you call them. <laughs> no, no, it's not. <laughs> what did I say it wrong? Sorry, I did just, I just got a bit overexcited. Ooh. So, where are we headed to, Kovacs? Right into the Cygnus lobby. Grand Hotel Cygnus? What for? There's a badge I need you to retrieve there. Are we down with the badge? Cygnus? Oh, wow. <laughs> Your holidays in Arcadia are about to begin. Soon you'll be transported to the stunning city of tomorrow. But before you have dinner at the top of the Spire restaurant, enjoy the best disco music in the Limelight Club. Or discover the magic of Comet Land. There's something else you need to know. Introducing Access Badge, an amazing electronic device that will allow you to make the most of your Arcadia vacations. Carefully designed to look like a real 1970s prop, your access badge will be scanned at the checkpoint terminal on your entry day, and that's it! You don't even need to check in at the front desk. 
Just use your access badge to get into your hotel room and start having fun. Even our auto-droid operated room service will be entirely at your disposal thanks to your access badge. And remember, if you're using the Insta Delivery Service, your bags will be waiting in your room just a few seconds after you open the door. Please carry your access badge with you at all times during your Arcadia visit until the day you leave at your assigned departure checkpoint. Now you are ready to experience the city of tomorrow as Elijah Walton himself envisioned it. Remember, enjoy your stay in Arcadia and... Do not break the fourth wall. So... The people... So my character did not know he was in a fake city. My character didn't know he was in a fake city that was just designed for a TV show. He was born here, and he's never left. So who... Why don't people know? Like, why... The people who came here, who were shown that advertisement, were told they were going to leave at some point. And they never left? And they're not allowed to leave? Or are they allowed to leave, but no one ever does because the city's so nice? Or what? Like, why don't people know that this is a fake city? Because if they, they can't leave, because if they ever left, they would find out because everyone else is watching this place on TV. I'm confused. I don't know how this world works exactly. Um, so yeah, so Lackenstein and, uh, is, is asking whether or not the voice actors in this are some of the same voice actors who worked on State of Decay 2. I've got no idea. Okay, I just spent some time looking it up, and yes, uh, Lackenstein is absolutely correct. These two main voices you're hearing are both in State of Decay 2. Uh, Trevor is played by Yuri Lowenthal, who plays one of the Survivor voices. I think it's the Barry voice. And um, the and the voice on the... Kovacs, the voice on the radio, who I don't think we... I don't know if we've actually learned her name yet, uh, but she's played by Kritzia Bajos, who is also... I probably pronounced her name a little bit wrong there, sorry. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce Kritzia. But uh, it's something like that. And she also uh, does a voice, a survivor voice in State of the K2. She has the Sophia voice. So uh, that's really cool. I, I, I love that you folks noticed that. You sort of pay enough attention to, uh, to voice actors that you picked out that these are two State of the K2 actors uh, playing against each other in this game. That's awesome. Exiting the car. Wow, look at this place. This is majestic. Definitely not called the Grand Hotel for nothing. But we didn't choose it for the luxury. The Cygnus is the only hotel in Arcadia with a monorail station built inside. So yeah, you can definitely I hear see. Brock so from Heartland. What's the plan now? Oh, yes. To get you out like any other Arcadia tourist, you'll need one of those badges I told you about. Didn't you just say that all tourist areas are restricted unless you wear the badge? How am I going to get into your suite then? We'll have to slip you through the service zones and then get you to the room floors. Oh, I see. Makes sense. So yeah, Ornithos says he's listened to these characters for, um, in State of Decay 2 for 2,500 hours, and that's why he recognized their voices the moment they opened their mouths. Beyond right. this point, wear your access badge. Guess it's not even worth trying, is it? Ah, forget it. That door won't open. Just keep going until you find a storage door. I'll open it for you. Hey, there's a giant storage cabinet blocking my way. Ugh, I'll take care of it. Will I, though? Um, oops. There we go. Oh, wait. Okay. Wait, hold on. What? Um. Okay, so there's like. So can I push these things back in and then file them away like this? Hmm. So if I move this here. This isn't going to work, is it? Nope, I'm making things harder and harder for myself. 
What I need. Okay, let's let's undo what I just did. I said undo what I just did. Come here. What I need is I think to take those three that move together, I need to put them behind Oh, so it's only two that come up. Okay. I'm just thinking So it always pulls out three more. So if I go back now, that'll happen. And then I'll still have a gap there, and that will happen. Uh, no, wait, I have to do that again. Yeah, that's... So is there a way for me to even have... So basically, okay, so I need to have... This is almost right. Oh, I thought I had it. Wait, what happens if I do this? Okay, so everything uh, goes no. all the way back. Wait, I have to do that again. Oh, I thought I had it. Okay, I hope she doesn't keep repeating that all day. Uh, no, wait, I have to do that again. Wait, do resetting it is actually going to be the hardest part here. Hold on. Yeah. Uh, no. Wait, I have to do that again. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. <gasps> wait, I can ride in it? What? I didn't realize I could ride in it. That changes everything. I think I honestly I don't know if I can recover from this now. Like this might be an unresettable puzzle. Let's because there are some puzzles that are reversible. And... Yeah, I think this is not reversible. I think I need to re restart checkpoint. There are some puzzles that are 100% reversible. But puzzles that have you move something all the way to the back of something else, even if it sort of reshuffles the order a little bit... Hey, there's a giant storage cabinet blocking my way. Uh, I'll take care of it. I think that that kind of puzzle can get into states where it's not where it's not resettable. Okay, but now that I've realized I can do this. Now I can Wait, what did I do before? Hold on. Whoa. Here we go. Okay, yeah. So, once I know I can hide him so in if this. I move this here. Kovacs, I was wondering wouldn't it have been easier if you just entered Arcadia like a regular tourist and simply handed me the badge? No can do. I have to be here to operate the devices to help you. Okay, yeah, that's a valid point. But yeah, so it turns out the solution to that was actually really easy if you're solving it for he's inside one of the boxes. But when you're solving it for... You have to actually get all of the boxes out of the way. It's literally impossible. Okay, what are my options here? I can move that forklift down. Jump to it. Move it up. Jump again. And what? Go up here, maybe? And can I... Can I... Clear this? Oh, hey, it's a light. Um, oh, I can move this. Does that do anything? Oh, I can get up higher. Ah, gotcha. And then I can jump over that. And then push this down. So I can get back if I need to. Not that I will need to. Oh, I do need to. Because I gotta grab that rolly thing. Up we go. In we go. Uh, 
Um, Kovacs? Yeah? You're always saying, we are doing this, we are planning that. I'm gonna assume you're working with someone else, right? Yes. I'm a member of an activist group, so to speak. It's called Breakout. Its founders... Well, let's just say you're not the first person who tried to escape from Arcadia. The incident was known as the Arcadia 6 Breakout. Although the event has always been categorically denied by Walton Media, in January 1992, six Arcadia-born citizens successfully evaded the confinement measures and managed to escape from the city. Shortly after, Walton Media was the target of several boycott actions that resulted in severe financial losses for the company and reignited the debate about the ethical treatment of Arcadia-born citizens. A group named Breakout released a statement taking responsibility for the actions. Its leader, known only by his alias, Number Six, claimed to be one of the escapees in the 1992 incident. We will never cease in our struggle against Walton Media until the company listens and all Arcadian prisoners are released. And if our words are not enough to make them listen, maybe our actions will be. A struggle that today, almost 30 years after the Arcadia 6 breakout, still continues. All right. So that ad that I saw, I thought that that ad was from the original population of Arcadia, but that ad was actually for tourists who come to Arcadia and so you've got people who are coming to Arcadia to visit and like meet and see their favorite TV stars and no one ever tells anyone like no one ever like freaks out and like says you're my uh, you're my favorite character on this reality show no one ever does that hmm I mean I realize this is meant to be kind of a cartoonish game and I'm not supposed to be thinking that deeply about it but I mean they put a whiteboard. Jesus, this is really high. Again. How? Why do your escape plans always involve making me climb way up high? The most discreet route isn't always the safest one. Sorry about that. Thank you, everybody. So in Kovacs' audience, their uh, audience, sorry, just read the word audience. In Kovacs' office, there was a whiteboard explaining how she had access to the billboard to send the message that Gus is dead. And that was a lot of effort to put into just one quick message that was important for getting his attention, I guess. But I mean, you could have done that in a lot of ways. Um, but they put the effort and the legwork into proving it. And so to proving like there was a way that this worked. So part of me is a little bit like now that I've been anchored that way, I'm like, I kind of expect that kind of homework to be done for all of the implausible things that are going on. And they may have, they probably do have answers to a lot of these questions that I have in their heads. But like, I just keep thinking questions now. It's like, it almost is like, if they hadn't explained that, I might have been like, eh, this game isn't trying to explain stuff. It's just weird. Um, but because they did try to explain it, now I'm like, I want explanations for everything. Like, you give a mouse a cookie. Yeah. Everything's swan themed. Here's an instrumental version of Merle Jefferson's What? Not that song again, damn it. What's the matter? Don't you like it? I liked it better before it became the theme song for Trevor Hill's worst day ever. Oh no. Oh no, oh no. Ah Okay. So not that. Oh whoa. Okay, so the wings will all alternate between two states but it's different per wing some of them go down and some of them go up no no they just do both so you have to remember which way a given wing went nuh uh No, that's nuts. No, oh, wait. Oh, because no. I see how it works. At any given time, you're standing on a wing or a head. So you just only vary the other one. So even though it can be unpredictable, 
how a wing or a head is going to move, that's okay because you can be, you can always make sure you're standing on the other one when you make the move. So the thing you just don't want to do is never move a wing when you're on a wing. Never move a head when you're on a head. Am I going to have to... I think I am going to have to do this. Break the rule that I just made for myself. Uh, can I jump and... Can I jump and grab that? Yes. And then, okay. Okay, can I? Okay, I can. Okay, I thought for a second I'd have to do something extra, but you no. You know what, Kilvax? I was just thinking of this day when I was in fifth grade. Right before the bell rang, Scott Horvitz, the official class bully, picked on me. I didn't even fight back, but the teacher sent both of us to detention on Saturday. And because of that, I missed the trip to Comet Land that I had been waiting for all year. Well, that miserable day is now a touching memory to cherish compared with today. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, Trevor. Honestly, but it's the only way. Hey, laundry. There is a laundry cart ahead. Get inside and make sure you can't be seen. An auto droid will bring it to the room floor shortly. Piece of cake. Piece of cake. Hey, at least this is clean laundry. That's something. How... How long am I supposed to wait in here, Kovacs? I don't know. My suite is in the ninth floor, so... The ninth floor? Shh! Pipe down! The auto droid's coming. Listen, when you get into my room, you'll find a suitcase that... Well, you don't need any further description. Let's just say that my suitcase really stands out. This kind of reminds me of the Centuries Later title on uh, in Loki. I thought it was going to say three days Next, later. Please. Hello, welcome to your holidays in Arcadia. Please leave your luggage on the conveyor belt. May I scan your Arcadia e-ticket, please? Sure, here you go. Just give me a second while I find your booking. This is why they said that your bags are automatically sent to your room. This character set herself up to go to Arcadia and then didn't go, but she knows her bags would be sent to her room. Oh, here it is. Four nights in a deluxe suite at the Grand Hotel Cygnus for Sylvia Lauren. Is that correct? Yes, that is correct. Your deluxe suite includes the Insta delivery service for your vacation at no additional cost. So your bags will be in your room in just a few seconds. Oh, wow, that's convenient. Remember that you give your permission to open, search, check, and scan your luggage in case you've forgotten any modern technological devices inside it. Of course. But don't worry, there's nothing inside. I've been really careful. Great! Just a few more things. Before your entry day, you must take the Elijah Walton's Dream of Tomorrow ride down this hallway to the left. You don't have to wait in line. Speedway access is included with your deluxe booking. And finally, remember, on your entry day, don't wear any modern clothing, piercings, dyed hair, or any other fashionable items that might be considered anachronistic for the people of Arcadia. We love your look, but we can't let you break the fourth wall. <laughs> Will do. Thank you so much. Thank you, and enjoy your holidays in Arcadia. Ugh, two more seconds of corporate curtsy and I would have puked rainbows. Next part of the plan. Gotta get this stupid thing inside my suitcase so Trevor can wear it. Okay, so I have to get back there? Wait, I can, I can sprint? I'm having adventures? Like, I'm gonna be running around? Okay, so let's... So that's not an exit. That's a picture. Um... an entry checkpoint to Arcadia. I'll go in there over my dead body. Okay, so what can I do? It's highly recommended for all Walton Media employees to install the AA app. It's also highly recommended for all Walton Media employees to give the AA app a five-star rating. 
when I worked at a mobile game company, we were explicitly disallowed from reviewing our own games <laughs> because that was just cheating <laughs> and creepy. Okay, so I could do a bunch of lore stuff or not. I could also not. So, okay. We've got... I've never ridden this thing, but according to my research, the access to the luggage scanning area is inside there. Okay. I thought that I was going to have to somehow follow my luggage, but no. I'm going to talk to you, maybe? Or this thing? Hello. Yeah, Orthos is saying he couldn't go to Arcadia. He's got four piercings, dyed hair, and half of an arm this sleeve. Ride is all about. I don't have any piercings or tattoos, and right now, my hair's just long. So, I could probably make it in. Welcome to Elijah Walton's Dream of Tomorrow. Embark on a journey to discover how the greatest creative genius of the 20th century envisioned and built Arcadia. For your safety, please remain seated with your hands, arms, feet, and legs inside the vehicle and supervise your children. Elijah Walton was born in 1900 in a small rural community of Minnesota. Influenced by his favorite author, Jules Verne, young Elijah dreamed of being a novelist or a scientist, but he ended up working in the film industry instead. After working as a scriptwriter in Hollywood in the 30s, Elijah and his brother Donald founded their own company, Walton Pictures. Together, they produced many successful box office hits, some of which are now considered timeless classics. We will not name them. But Elijah Walton wanted to reach a broader audience beyond the movie theater. And his wishes were ultimately fulfilled when television arrived in all the living rooms in America. Science always finds a way. And what a way that was. Broadcast in Visiorama, the innovative 3D audio and video system, Architects of Tomorrow became a must-see show every Saturday night in the 1950s. The show was famous for its unique songs, its combination of live action and animation, and the closing goodbye message from Elijah Walton in his prototype electric car, known as the Walton Mobile. After a decade of unprecedented success, Walton Pictures, now known as Walton Media, decided to undertake its most ambitious project, the acquisition of a huge piece of land in the Midwest to build the city of tomorrow, a city named Arcadia. Along with Walton's right-hand man and Architects of Tomorrow host, Arpad Kovacs, the first prototype of the Arcadia project began construction. This small prototype community is known today as Classic Arcadia or Old Arcadia. Sadly, a heart failure deprived Elijah Walton of seeing his magnum opus finished. On June 3rd, 1963, the world of entertainment mourned the loss of the most creative and talented mind of the 20th century. Oh, what about when Kovacs was kicked to the curb? Hmm? Don't you have an animatronic for that? Overcoming his grief for the loss of his brother, Donald Walton took the reins of the company. Under his guidance, Project Arcadia was finished on schedule. American Arcadia's premiere is still the second most watched event in American television history, just after the Apollo 11 moon landing. And the first Arcadia residents didn't even know their private lives were being sold and broadcasted. The success of the show attracted so many new residents to the city that old Arcadia soon became too small. It was evident that a larger, broader, and more modern city was needed. And thanks to the cooperation
cooperation between Walton Media and Senator Milton Burbank, the Burbank Act was approved, so Arcadia grew and expanded to the size that Elijah Walton had always envisioned. You are omitting the tiny detail that the small print of the Burbank Act allowed Walton Media to lock people up as if they were inside a damn zoo. This is the Arcadia we all know and love. An immense retro-futuristic metropolis inside a weather-controlled dome where each and every citizen enjoys a life of luxury and comfort. Broadcast live 24-7 for more than 55 seasons. The most watched media phenomenon on the planet. Mm, but it's a negative growth now, Vivian dear. Now that you know the story, you're ready to begin your journey. Soon you'll be accessing your entry checkpoint to Arcadia. As we speak, your luggage is being carried straight to your hotel room. There it is, my suitcase. Oh, I what? Have to get into that room. Uh. My grandfather, Elijah Walton, had a dream to build the city of tomorrow. A dream that my great uncle Don continued. Now it's up to me, Vivian Walton, to keep that dream alive. But this dream wouldn't be a reality if it weren't for you. Because you out. truly are my grandfather's dream. You are Arcadia. You truly are my grandfather's dream. Shut your pie hole, you stupid bitch. Okay, so I found the door. What can I do about it? Can I... Oh, I get out of here. How do I get? Did I did I miss my chance somehow by not figuring out how to get out, or will I get a chance again? What's this? Oh, extra animatronics and stuff. A broken animatronic from the first section of the ride. Its number is six seven one one. Are we going to sneak me in as an animatronic? Uh -uh. No, it's not working. Hmm. Uh -uh. No, it's not working. Okay, I'm not quite sure what they want me to do. This must be the cast member's room. Okay. Red light indicates an animatronic malfunction. Use your key to activate the manual override. Select the ride section where the problem is. Enter the animatronic number from the selected section. A red light every section will immediately stop the ride. If the ride stops, the ride doors will open. I need to interact if with that. If the ride stops, the ride doors will open. Ah, oh, an attraction always loses a bit of its charm when you see how it works from inside. Not this one. Didn't have any charm to begin with. <laughs> this must be the key for the manual override. Okay. Stick that in there. And then... Okay, so I'm... Wait, what? Wait hold on. Let's... Remind myself what the instructions are. So we pick the ride section. Then we say 6711. And so is it just, am I just trying to get the door to open? Is that all I'm trying to do? Or oh, maybe the section has to match. Okay, so S1 is where 6711 is. So I put 6711. Okay, so I've just turned that off. And then, oh, 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 I need to find a number for each one. So S2 had one. What was it? Bring the guy back. Bring the guy back. There it is. 2712. 2712. Okay, and then S3 over there. She's something 18.
Now, the first one was 671. Okay, I was going to say, is there something I can... Is something I can to, can deduce about the numbers so I can just figure out what her number is? Because I can't try every combination of two numbers at the beginning. That's that's not going to work. Like, if 2712, if that 2 at the beginning meant section 2, that'd be great. But the first one was 6711, and so that, that doesn't work. Um... Paroxicus earlier on was getting on me for uh, the fact that I was sleeping through the ride. I mean, they made an uninteresting ride on purpose for uh, the character to complain about. So I don't, I don't know. I don't know what they want me to do. Okay, so there's something ending in 18. Is there another example of that animatronic around here someplace? Is there a book I can look it up in? Or... Joie de Vivian? Oh, gosh. Okay. Oh, what's this? 9518. Okay. Let's try 9518. Because she does look like she's a little bit uh, not working. So, 9, 5, 18. So the 18 is just there to show me which section that was in. <laughs> I managed to sabotage the ride. Good. It wasn't worth the wait anyway. Wait, how do I get out? This is locked. Or, oh, oh. That wasn't the way. Okay, got it. So now the door's open. And I can backtrack to the door I was supposed to go through. Ugh, silent animatronics give me the creeps. The the way that this gla the, the the plastic on here works, it looks like it's highlighted, like they're using a, a rim light or something to highlight it for me. Okay, so exit's probably not what I want, right? I probably want to Ugh, go in through now here. I have to crawl inside that duct. <laughs> She's about to make uh, Trevor do that, so uh, she shouldn't complain. Blitz Cola. Taste a moment. That actually sounds like a real slogan that somebody would use. Hmm. My luggage info might be on my Arcadia e-ticket. Better check my phone. Um. Luggage one item is delivery included. AA3. Uh, car 10, C21. So luggage... Okay, so car 10, the bottom here, seat 22 would be in 2i. 2i. How do I use that number? 2i. It's not in here. But what? Oh, wait. These are departure times? So it's 2i at 11.45? Maybe? No. Nope. Well, that's Wrong 40. locker. 6, so that makes sense for it to not be that. Maybe it's arrival time. Maybe it's 12.35. No, I'm seeing a lot of the same numbers repeating, so maybe I'm misreading what that is. Wait, well, here's 11.45. And it's, oh wait, it's 2i. Try this. Damn it, where did they put my suitcase? Hmm. Oh wait, I'm AA3. Oh, oh wait. What the heck? This is freaking confusing. Okay, AA3. 1145. 2i. Holy crap. There we are. Okay, I'll leave the badge inside. Let's hope I can get Trevor to the Cygnus in time. And then, out of Arcadia. I'll talk to you in three days. Man. It's so... This game is so bizarre. It's just like it's like two or three different games Trevor? simultaneously. 
Trevor, can you hear me? Huh? The coast is clear. Out of there, now. Jeez, that took a long time. I almost fell asleep inside that cart. I'm right there with you, man. the luxury suite at the end of this hallway so you can grab the badge. And make sure no one sees you without it. So, Orthaus, wait, which room am I in? Orthaus is asking what my favorite, uh, what my favorite Thanksgiving side is. Uh, I think probably corn on the cob. I think. Did she say what number I'm looking for? Oh, nine ten probably because it's on hey, the plane that I can auto walk on. in here. Yeah, it's preparing the room. Just ignore it. I need to turn the instant delivery device this on. This machine is supposed to bring your suitcase here, right? Yes. What the? I cannot see your badge. Please make sure your badge is visible at all times. Please stop turning on device. Room is not ready yet. Turning off device. Oh, stop turning everything off. God, I hate this stupid robot. Okay, so do I need to distract the robot while I get my stuff? Okay, so he prioritizes turning off the luggage thing. So if I can turn it off, turn it on while he's in there. So let's have him go to the other place. Once he goes in, which I can see in the tiny... Let's see if that kept him busy long enough. God, I hate this stupid robot. Dang, okay. Room is not ready yet. Turning off. Please stop turning on devices. Tur oh, stop turning, turning off. everything off. Room is not ready yet. Turning off device. So he just needs to be busy Please enough. Stop turning off. Turning off. God, Maybe? Okay, what am I? What am I not getting? Like, is it just I have to get the timing just right? Like, I turn that on. Maybe if I just watch him go in there, and then turn that on while he's in there, will that be okay? No, he's still. Okay, so. But if I like cue something up, a bunch of stuff to do first. But then do that. I think he prioritizes the luggage thing, right? Knock it off, Wally. Maybe I need to figure out the order that will take the most time. So maybe I start here. The f Actually, maybe I start here. Get him as far to the right as possible and then do this one and this one and this one and this one and this one if he does them in order maybe that will take the maximum amount of time no he prioritizes this one as soon as he comes in here he prioritizes this one and i don't even know if i'm doing the right thing Okay, so what if I'm gone? What if I'm out here? Oh, but she can't hack it while I'm out of the room? Unidentified individual. Please wear your badge or leave the room immediately. <laughs> or that's asking if I can deactivate him. I don't think so. If I could close him in here. Wear your badge. Actually, let's see if that's a thing. Yet. Can I block him? I cannot see your badge. Please make sure your badge is visible and Oh, he can go through me. I thought maybe I could block him in. Wait. I can block him in. This is movable. It's one of the toughest things about this game is realizing that a thing is movable. That was a great idea, Trevor. 
Shouldn't the luggage be here already? No, no, no. You didn't use the badge to access your room, so technically you're not inside the room yet. And that's why I need to manually redirect my suitcase through the instant delivery card. It's it's okay, Kovacs. I don't need to know every detail. It's just that this plan is getting a little confusing. Yeah. <laughs> just leave it to me, okay? I, g give me a second. Well, well, well. Oh, no. Where are you, you tacky, hideous suitcase? <sighs> okay. Ah, there it is. I have to reroute the conveyor belt to get it to the suite. Let's see. This is to open and close that hatch. Okay, so it's going to go down that way. And then it's going to go... So this hmm. one needs to go that direction. This changes the direction of the conveyor belt. That opens that. And then... So I want it to go that way, but then I want to expel it in some other direction. Probably down that. How will I... Okay, it's there. So if I rotate it... This switch rotates this thing. Maybe I need to send it down this way? Nope, that didn't kick it off. Um, so it send, I can send it to B. What happens if it goes to B? Will it come out there? No. I mean, maybe. I feel like I probably want to go this way, except it'll just go back into D. And then what's D? And where am I trying to get it? Two rooms. I want it to get... Okay, I want it to come out of E. And go to the rooms. Right, so I want that to be open. And then, what's this? Okay, that doesn't help. I guess I can always turn it around if it comes this way. So maybe it coming out of... B is okay, so maybe I want to send it. Or uh, this is gonna be a lot of failure. This is gonna be a lot of failure. So that way it can't go that way. So I think it needs to go this way, and then it comes down here and it goes up that way into D. But where's D? not resetting it. Where is it now? What was D? It, oh, it comes up here. Okay, so D comes out here. Okay, so I don't want to do that. Closing this barrier does nothing. So what happens if I send it to B? Where does it end up then? Comes out here. Okay, okay, this is what I want. So I can quickly open this and then reverse it. So open it, close it, and reverse it. There, that's what we want. Ah, I think I figured it out. Holy and cow. And here is your luggage, mister. Okay, I got the badge. Finally! That aggravating hunk of metal was a real pain in the ass. You mean the badge or the droid? Uh, Alright, so I've got a badge now. Does that mean I can go in the main door? Actually, I kind of want to know... Go to the elevator on the left side and join group six. They'll be exiting the city soon. I kind of want to see what the robot does in response to me now. Enjoy your vacation in Arcadia. All right. Okay, whatever. I'm glad they could have not included that. So that was that was good. I'm glad that worked. 
Oh, hey. So Brindley just redeemed the uh, reward to get their name added to the State of Decay 2. Awesome. I will happily put it in there. S if you didn't already, send me a whisper or a message or something, Brindley, um, telling me, like, because I can put the name Brindley, in, I can put the name Brindley in the game, but where to put it is kind of the question. Like, if you want me to associate it with your actual first name or last name or some particular kind of trait, uh, just let me know. Hey, everybody. Hello. Hello. Hey, you in Group 6, pal? A PA called Group 6 to the bus stop just a few minutes ago. Oh, really? Uh, thank you so much. You're welcome. Oh, and by the way, I have to say your look is amazing, man. Straight from the good old 70s. Ah, <laughs> thank you. Good old 70s? Trevor, shut your mouth. <laughs> what year are we in? We're in 2023. We're in the future? Lower your voice, damn it. It's Arcadia that's in the past. It's always been. I'll explain it to you later. Have a nice day in Arcadia, sir. Thank you, but I'm afraid today is my last day in the city. Oh, we're so sorry to see you leave, but please come back soon. Trevor, what are you doing? You planning on becoming BFS with the clerk? I was just being polite. What is being polite an old-fashioned custom in 2023 or what? Group six, please. Uh, come to the backyard bus stop. All right, so I'm gonna get out of here. Six. Group and then I think we'll be done. Because it's been an hour and I'm tired. <laughs> it's kind of fun. Oh. It's kind of fun how they've laid this out so that you know, your character can only move on a plane they sort of arrange the world to sort of like to not really be lined up on the same grid like it's things are askew but they sort of coincidentally line up with your plane in a way that is sort of like it's kind of satisfying to see something coming on the right and realize oh this kind of snaps into the plane that i can move in um it's something weirdly satisfying about that i just wanted to say it out loud Over, there's the bus don't do anything stupid just get on and zip your trap until we reach the checkpoint oh busted group six group six please uh with me here i i know we were supposed to be leaving in a few minutes but uh there seems to be some sort of last minute problem with our bus uh but don't worry our good friend antonio is gonna try to fix it and i am sure we will be on the road in a jiffy so uh, don't worry folks i guarantee you we will make it to the central station in time oh, no way you gotta be kidding me What was that? Oh, it's Hello? my phone. Kovacs. Who are you? How did you get this number? This is Breakout speaking. I am number six. Listen carefully. The chief of security is headed to your office right now. He will be there any minute. M my office? B but what's going There is no time. Listen. Act casual and try to answer everything calmly. Avoid mentioning any kind of involvement with Trevor Hills. Oh, okay, uh, I'll try to remember. Good luck. We're counting on you, Kovacs. Hey, everybody. So, uh, I have some good news and some bad news. Uh, which one do you guys want first? And I think we're going to have to find out about the good news, the bad news, the security guy, and all of that stuff a little bit later because this was more than an hour and uh, we need to end the episode. But uh, this game is just increasingly fascinating. It keeps surprising me with what it's about. Like, I expect it to really be sort of one or the other of these things. Either, you know, first person running around as Kovacs or, uh, you know, the, the sort of the third person side scroller with Trevor. But it really is just both interleaved with each other back and forth. You, It doesn't let you get comfortable with any one thing before moving on to something else, which is a fascinating approach. And so far, everything's been very clever, kind of demanding sometimes, these puzzles. And, uh, and so it, it's, yeah, I don't know. I feel like it's a game that is taking me seriously that is sort of like uh expecting expecting a lot from me and uh but it still it, it makes it work so yeah anyway lots of respect to this game and there's a subscribe button and links to other videos so uh we'll get out of here and see you all later
Whoa, it got dark outside. How long have I been streaming? 